Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for August 22. This one is a list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered all the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. In the next video I will be covering the top assets and effects. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. As always there's links to the assets in the description, and as bonus you can use the coupon code monkey 10 to get 10% off your order. Also, right now Unity is having a sale with tons of the best assets discounted. And if you're a fan of realistic fantasy, then check out the latest Humble Bundle. Features quite a lot of assets from Infinity PBR. It's got some gorgeous dragons, creatures and dungeons. There's lots of realistic weapons and armor, all in a high poly realistic style with tons of variations. The bundle also includes some courses by Jason Wyman. As usual, it's a super deep discount, over 90% off, so if you like this style, go ahead and pick it up with the link in the description. Alright, so starting off with some fun soft body physics. This is how you can have some soft squishy objects interacting with physics. It works on any mesh, so you can make some really nice squishy jelly, or you can even apply it to a player character. So this would be great for a kind of boxing game to add some nice deformation when taking a punch. And you could also use the included soft body controller to make a game where the player plays as some kind of slime. So this one is really interesting, really nice effect, and the asset is pretty cheap. Next up, if you're like me and math is not your strong point, then this asset looks perfect, rather than trying to come up with math to calculate projectile trajectories. You basically just give it a force and a launch position to see where it lands, or you can give it a target and calculate the velocity needed to get there within a certain amount of time. So if your game uses rigid body physics for the projectiles, then this can be quite useful. Up next, another really interesting one, here is Yun Lua. I must say that Lua is one of those things that I've heard tons of great things about, but never actually used it myself. If you don't know, Lua is a scripting language. It's widely used in modifying games. Lots of games enable custom modding logic, and you write that custom logic in Lua. So this has it as a framework to help you write Lua code that easily interacts with Unity game objects. So if you're curious to experiment with adding modding to your game, definitely go ahead and research Lua. Then if your game has some procedural placement of some objects, look at this tool. If you try placing objects completely randomly, it can produce quite strange results with some objects too close together. So this tool lets you place them all in a much more natural way. It works in both 2D and 3D and also has a snap to terrain feature. So you just select your prefabs, click a button and that's it. Next up, if you have some complex meshes and you need some extremely accurate colliders, look at this tool. If you've ever tried using the built-in Unity mesh colliders, you will see that the shape is primarily focused on a lower number of polygons and not necessarily on accuracy. So you end up with tons of edges that have no visual, but they do have a collider. This tool gives you a lot more control over exactly where the collider shape is, so you can make it perfectly match the visuals. It's super easy to use. The include editor lets you paint on your object to define all of the collider parts. This one is version 2, so it's an extremely well-built, well-polished and battle-tested tool. Then if you want a quick way to handle lots of weapons, look at this one. It's a weapon projectile system. It works in both 2D and 3D. You can easily spawn tons of projectiles or do some raycast shooting. It helps you handle collisions, firing and secondary modes. You can change firing speed, clip sizes, reload and tons more. Also supports burst fire with multi-shot. And the whole thing works with object pulling so it's also extremely performant. Definitely an interesting asset if you want to quickly jumpstart your projectile creation. Then here's a fun one, a runtime level editor. So it's a fully fledged level editor that runs while the game is playing. It works on a voxel tile system, so you can define whatever voxels you want and place them anywhere. You can modify the skybox, modify colors, fog and so on. Again, all of it while running in runtime. It even lets you bake occlusion culling, so the level ends up being super performant. And also supports nav mesh baking. The levels are stored in a JSON format, making it super easy to upload to a server and share files between your players. Next, if you want to make a car game and you need a controller, here's a fun one. It's very easy to use, you can get it up and running in a few minutes. If you've never tried making a car game, then believe me, this is extremely useful. Building all the driving physics for yourself is a ton of work. There's tons of fields and curves you can play around with to get the exact physics behavior you want for the car. And there's also a demo you can try out for free. Then here's a really awesome one that I'm thinking of getting myself, it's called Asset Inventory. If you're like me and you buy tons of assets, it can be tricky to know what you have in all of those packs. So this one is a really awesome way to search through all of those packs to find exactly what you're looking for. It features super fast searching, lots of previews so you can see exactly what you're looking for. And the main thing is you don't have to import them into your project. So you don't end up with tons of clutter in your project just to try to find a specific asset. 
You can even add custom sources, so that's also super useful for me since I own lots of packs from Humble Bundles at the Senti store. So it's really awesome and it's pretty cheap, so I'll definitely pick this up for myself. Up next, if your game has skin mesh renderers and you want some extremely accurate breakouts, look at this one. Usually, you use a simplified capsule collider when trying to handle collisions with characters. That works for most cases, but if your game requires some extreme precision, then a simple caps collider will not work, so that's where this asset comes in. This one is a compute shader, so it's extremely efficient. This would be perfect for some super accurate bullets, or maybe some punches, or just find the exact edge of the character to place some armor or some object. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Asset Store for August 22. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And if you're a fan of realistic fantasy, then check out the latest Humble Bundle. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.